whack. You, you was definitely gassing about the the whole Big U and Gilly thing, right? No, I ain't gassing. Me, Gilly's a two. He's a. Hey, what happened though? What happened? What little Roz ain't coming to room? He like yeah, like you know, you had to see your son brought you to the hood, and we pulled up, caught you and your son. Y'all had on all your jewelry. We strip you. And you don't know it's when you use Big U name. We didn't give a. The told us y'all Jews worth 150, 160, we strip you and took that cash it in and they brought your forty thousand dollars back like we are bad. We cashed that in and cut it up. Right? <clears throat> the nigga wanna get mad at me. Hey you weird I wasn't there. Wait, wait, wait. This dude from Rolling Sixties. They, they they think wait, 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 wait. Gilly never got robbed. And him and his son got stripped. They stripped him in the sixties. Big you lined it. So he stripped him, took all their jury that did it, came on the stage and said he did it. And, and, and it get mad at me like I did. I ain't did it. I, I ain't do it. I went, man. You mad at me, folks. So you're telling me that. You mad at me, bro. Like, Gilly official. Gilly, Gilly not going like that. Gilly was nothing. Had his hands up in the air with his two kids, a father that couldn't protect. Wipe y'all feet as y'all come to the door. For the ones that don't know, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all. Now, I've been absent for a couple days, man. Uh, it was my birthday, man, so I took some time off. Had to, you know, do a little bit of traveling. But y'all know we back to it. And we got this man, Bosco 100. Now, Bosco 100, we know stay on the gas, man. Hey, Bosco gonna come clowning every situation that's going on on the internet. Like this situation with Adam 22, where Adam 22 complimented that man in Elite Choppers Johnson print on some weirdo stuff. So he said, get over here. We know who got next with hashtag Lena the plug. Jesus, stay focused, blacks. That man, Adam, straight up in that closet. And we all know for the no jumper platform as a whole, zesty behavior is nothing new. But it was even funnier when he decided he was gonna gas up Neo. Oh, hell no. Nah. Neo. Get over here, blood. They got your eyes playing that lesbian sister. Lesbian auntie looking at her teeth. And if you know, you know. Throughout the course of Neo's entire career, man, there has been zesty rumors circulating around that man. So that ain't nothing new either. But he decided to gas up a Mexican OG for gassing up Mexican rappers for being zesty, but then decided to twerk himself. I'll tell you right now, Mexicans are comedians. And they make good elotes. Roddy Racks, Lefty. All you other mother, what's that other fucking f ass motherfucker's name? Uh, oh yeah, Swifty Blue. All you punk motherfuckers, get at me, homie. Get at me. Because you know what? I'm the true San Gabriel Valley King right here. Mr. Gangster, Northside Pasadena. This is the bone. <laughs> Don't be the reason, though, G. One of the most important things I ever heard from your people. Not the twerking, dog. Like, I thought you were going some weird. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus, God. But the biggest topic that Bosco decided to speak on was the situation that I showed y'all at the beginning between WAC 100 and Gilly the Kid. When Gilly the Kid allegedly got robbed out in Los Angeles by the Rolling 60s. It was supposedly a back door that Big U set up. And if we all know about the stories from Big U, Big U been back doing, so that ain't nothing too far fetched, but Gilly's still rocking with the men. But like I said, this is the situation he decided to speak on. He came out and said that Big U allegedly set Gilly up and had him robbed when he was in the hood. And apparently since this was dropped, Gilly the Kid been going that whack 100 over, even though that's not who put it out. I thought I was trying to put mustard on your jacket. Man, who is this nigga talking about I got robbed? Nigga trying to put mustard on my jacket. This Bosco 100 nigga. Huh, or the ifs. Bosco follows that up by clarifying what he means in the caption. Hashtag, Gilly, get over here. I was the first person to tell this story when it first happened. Gilly tried to call me a liar, basically, by saying I was, quote, 
putting mustard on his jacket, unquote. I want my apology, Mr. Frank. Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag stay focused, blacks. And for those of y'all that remember, Bosco was undoubtedly the first person to put this out. Back in 2020, there was a video of a live between Gilly the Kid and I believe Chop. It looked like Chop, where they said whatever in the video, but Bosco decided to share a picture of that and put this caption up under it. He said, hashtag scotification gang. What about when hashtag Gilly the Kid got robbed for his watch in the 60s after Nipsey died? Oops, my bad. Was that a secret? Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag stay focused, blacks. So y'all see, man, this was back in 2020. That man Ben spoke this out there. You feel me? Let's go, man. Them niggas just be mad on you, man. Keep doing your thing. From the, from the How you mad at me because you got robbed? Like, nigga, I didn't say nothing wrong about that, man. All I said was that what happened when you got robbed in the 60s. That nigga been mad ever since, but that nigga want to tell Unc. I'm going to call Unc. I'm going to call, like, bro, why you always want to tell Unc? Why, why yeah. you so mad? Because I said you got robbed in the 60s, and you had to call Unc. I'm going to call Unc. Like, that's what he said when he got robbed. I'm going to call Unc. <laughs> man, keep firing these suckers up, bro. My love, man. I'm gonna call up. That's what he said, bro. You got robbed in the '60s, and you said I'm gonna call up. Now Bosco just said all Bosco said was, "What happened when you got robbed in the '60s?" I'm gonna call up. You still wanna call up? Blah blah blah. <laughs> just not trying to call up. That's the problem, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm gonna have my people. I'm connected in chat. Like, what the fuck are you connected with? Like, what the fuck that mean, man? You a grown ass man, nigga. I ain't saying nothing wrong, nigga. Like, but I said the truth, but truth hurts, but truth hurts. I'm just saying, but I'm just saying the truth hurts, but nigga be mad at the truth. I ain't even say nothing wrong. I'm just saying, wait, you was talking about something. I said, shit. Didn't that nigga get robbed in LA after this? He done. I'm just saying, but, uh, didn't you? Did you or did you not? Don't lie. Don't lie. Did you or did you not? And even back then, Bosco responded to the fact that Gilly said that he wanted a fade for, quote, putting mustard on his jacket. So he told that man to pull up to Philly and whatnot. Well, Sko was telling him to come out to L.A. and they can do whatever he felt like he wanted to do. Gilly want the fade. Blood, I don't give a fuck. Blood, like, blood, tell that nigga hit my DM. Like, blood, the fuck you telling y'all? Like, blood, internet nigga. Like, blood, why are you telling them that? Why nigga want the fade with me? But you telling the internet, blood, like, fuck you telling the internet for? Like, blood, like, blood, you need to talk to me. And I hate when the nigga say, I need somebody to put me in front. Like, blood, why the fuck you a grown ass man? Nigga, fuck you need another nigga. Like, blood, why the fuck another nigga gotta put you? Like, blood, put yourself in front of me, nigga. What the fuck you talking about another nigga? Oh, I'm gonna have. Why well, I gotta pull up? Cause you got robbed, like nigga. I was, oh, he ain't came to the city. He ain't came to. Why, why I always gotta spend my money? and come travel to where you at because you got robbed blip. then this next part of that original live from back then is going to clarify what he means by the hot dog situation when he took the jab at gilly using that and also why he hashtag mr frank at the end of that post hot dog no bun looking ass nigga blood mr frank looking ass nigga blood i'm not blood like blood why the fuck i gotta come to where you at blood come to cali blood you ain't never can you ain't seen no nigga come to cali to LA and be like, yeah, I'm riding around LA. Where this nigga Bosco at? Blood, you ain't gonna do that, blood. You know why? Cause Bosco here in LA and Bosco gonna pop out blood and you don't really want that. A little joke that he made from way back then calling that man a hot dog, no bun. The man bald head, light skin. He do kind of look like a hot dog, I can't even lie. So fast forward more recently, 2024, he decided to utilize that same joke, resurface it, and use it again to take jabs at that man. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> apologize to that man. Apologize. Apologize. Huh? Hey, listen, I owe you. It's just that you know. And of course, the line of mustard on the hot dog represented Gilly's response back to Bosco, where he said, you putting mustard on my jacket. You feel me? Genius, if you think about it. And then the movie scene of him saying, apologize, apologize. That's in reference to the more recent post where he said, you owe me an apology. Now that other people are putting it out, we know it ain't cap. But of course, Bosco goes on with a caption and he says, hashtag Gilly the Kid, get over here. It's not a bad thing to apologize for being wrong. You try to damage my credibility. The truth always comes to light, Mr. Frank. I ain't never in life put mustard on nobody jacket. I want a grown ass man apology today. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag stay focused blacks. And I feel him on wanting that apology and for Gilly to set the record straight. Cause all Gilly has to do is say, 
Bosco is capped and with that huge ass platform he has and all those millions of supporters, they gonna believe it. Now, Bosco word is discredited and it's just smut all over his name now on the cool. Ain't nobody gonna believe anything else that man put out. And that's just what it is. So I feel that, which he ain't never gonna get that apology. Just gotta take that one on the chin and take that L. But as we all know, WAC 100 recently surfaced that and really decided he was gone flash all the way out on Gilly, calling that man a buster and all that. What was in the beginning on that DJ Academics interview. And it really kind of stems from his relationship with Big U. But not only that, the fact that WAC 100 rocks with Birdman and we know the tension between Birdman and Gilly the Kid, man. They already did an interview where they was pretty much ready to go at blows, screaming and yelling at each other and whatnot over the situation with Cash Money and Gilly the Kid. There's so many layers to that though, you know, which if you ask me, and this is strictly from observation, I feel like Gilly's affiliation with Big U just added the icing on the cake. That was the final layer for Wack to go ahead and air out any dirty laundry he knew about Gilly the Kid, not to mention sparking up Big U name once again and showing the snake tendencies. He already showed y'all that Big U snaked him out, snaked Wack out for no reason, trying to take over all of his businesses just because Suge said go get that. Then he doubled back and snaked Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Loose Cannon saying that Big U called him right before Nipsey passed when Nipsey wasn't even passed away yet and said Nipsey was gone. Then you got the situation where they actually got out because Big U went in and took all his equipment back so Nipsey couldn't record. So Nipsey went to go record with the game and blew up. That they roll blew up. And if you think about it, the game is WAC 100's artist. So maybe there was always tension there and they really didn't bring it to the forefront. But it was just so many situations, you know, that has came out now that their relationship is completely severed and will never be mended again. And Gilly is just a casualty of these two men's ongoing conflict, which in the end works in the favor of Bosco 100 as far as the Gilly the Kid situation. It gives more people that are stating that this actually happened. He got robbed in the rolling 60s. And if y'all notice at the end of that live back in 2020, he stated back to Gilly after Gilly said, I'm gonna call Unk, I'm gonna call Unk to put me face to face with you. Well, he said, quit trying to call Unk. Unk is the problem. So in other words, he was trying to say Big U was the problem. He was the reason why you got robbed, your loyalty towards Big U. And if y'all notice what WAC 100 said in an interview with DJ Academics, he stated that Lil Rod came in to the interview and told Gilly the Kid, I was the one that robbed you based off of Big U telling him to go get that. So that's kind of how it happened. That man Bosco tried to tell y'all way back when, boy, 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 this is another issue where Big U name is all in the middle of some grimy snake ass shit and the man fingerprints are just all over it you feel me that man hey dude got some real demons he real cold-hearted and slimy bruh but y'all let me know how y'all feel though family i'm gonna leave y'all with this live from bosco 100 he was just on his live clowning y'all know how you get down man wipe your feet as you leave the door like comment and subscribe for the ones that don't know and also go follow me on instagram at all facts king ko all over case that is a place where i will always respond and y'all know all praise be to the most high peace and blessings kings and queens and i'm out we got a bunch to talk about so y'all make sure y'all double back man so much stuff been going on since i've been absent since i've been on my road trip for my birthday hey man y'all wish me a happy birthday man i ain't seen nobody do none of that you feel me it is what it is love y'all family peace and blessings <laughs> how that's going especially if we supposed to be both mm -hmm. I'm just a spectator. I'm just a spectator. Get the fuck out of here. That's some shit. A flying pool of this son, nigga. Tim Chicken type shit. This red flag too it was my gangster. Red flag too. What red flag too? Red flag too. Red flag. Oh my nigga, little flag. Um, uh, blood. My nigga.
nigga little flood for the, my nigga left. No, my nigga Julian. No, my nigga. Shut up, man. I wonder what was up with you, bro. How you been for? Oh, bro, that's my nigga, bro. I'm like, which flag? You know a nigga, no. You know every, you know I know every flag in America. <laughs> I'm like, wait, which little flag? Oh, God, my nigga. Oh, God. What's the deal, fool? Hey, tap in, hit my DM, bro. I was wondering what was up with you, fool. Oh, God. I was wondering, nigga, what's up with that nigga flag, bro? I forgot what. I think I was talking to that nigga spread, bro. Matter of fact, I was talking to spread. And I'm like, damn, bro, what's up with that nigga flag, bro? Bro, they got no fun. I wonder. Um, what's the deal? Top of the money, bro. bro. What's the deal? Uh, hey, bro. What's up, my nigga, bro? Free that man. My. Look, look at me how clean I am right now. How many pages you got, bro? God damn, bro. Yo, the the other one blocked. I don't know what happened with that one, man. I got I got weird. twenty pages. You was doing some weird shit. You got a lot of pages, bro. You keep coming from all these. I did. Like you think you slick. Bro. My head. Why you already shampoo my hair, bro? Nah, I just took a bed. Man, I took a shower. You feel me? Oh, uh, you feel good about yourself? You feeling good? I feel I feel kind of like. Tight in the face off of soap, man. I use like half a soap yeah, and shit on my face. Yeah, put some lotion on, motherfucker. Some nah, facial moisture. Nah. You don't use lotion? Yo. Don't got nah, lotion over there? I don't use no lotion. I don't use shit, man. I use a little cheap ass soap. That's why you feel dry, man. You, know, you need some yeah. moisturizer. Yeah. yeah, some shit like that. You know, it's a cheap ass soap, man. That should make my not, skin feel tight. You got no cocoa butter over here, my nigga? Mouth? Fuck that shit, man. I use a little shampoo, a little head and shoulders, that, Gary. Look what, like, what do you fuck with besides cats, bro? Like, you don't fuck with nothing, nigga. Like, bro, what do you fuck with? You don't fuck with bitches. You don't fuck with nobody. You don't do, like, bro, what do you don't fuck with money? Like, what do you fuck with, bro? Man, I fuck with the money, man. I'm trying what, to get this depressed? money. I smoke a little weed. Are you depressed? Yeah, I'm depressed. I ain't gonna what lie to you, you bro. I'm depressed. What you depressed? That's because you ain't getting no pussy, bro. Man, because I ain't getting no money, man. You ain't gonna get no money until you get motivated. Usually, motivation comes in the form of pussy, nigga. Yeah, yeah. but pussy is like second and third or something, man. It's the money first, then it's my health. But you know, the money is all in it, man. The money is the health, the pussy is all the money, bro. Like, it's the money, bro. Yeah. You know? So, when you gonna stop fucking with them cats and figure out something so we can get the money, nigga? Yo, I figured it out. I'm just hey, going crazy. Goofy Listen ass shit. face. Don't tell me that goofy ass shit. Nah. Anybody shit. get it. Any Anybody get it. Shit. Anybody get it. Any, anybody get it. Whipping on them biscuits. Wish we still. Man, retreat, man. I don't want to hear that shit, man. You always got to do the face, man. I tell you every time. Don't do the face, man. Just don't do the face. You always got to do the face, man. Like, man, you can't. That shit hurts, man. You got a headache after you do that shit, man. Shit look weird as hell anyway. And then, like, bro, like, where are we going with the face, bro? Like, stop doing that, bro. Like, shit looks disgusting. Like, bro. <coughs> Jesus. I always gotta do the face. Don't do the face, bro. Uh, this nigga name Draco. This nigga sound dangerous. East Baltimore, we in this bitch, baby. What up, what up Baltimore? What's up with it? I fuck with Baltimore niggas, man. Y'all niggas some y'all niggas. Right, I'm hey, y'all some real niggas out there. I ain't gonna lie, them Baltimore niggas be on that real shit. I fuck with you. Yes, sir, but not everybody, because there's bitch niggas everywhere. You yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean, nigga. Fact. You know. But look, though, I'm tapping in with you. I respect what you're doing, man. Support, top of I the line. No, I appreciate you, black man. Be on, okay. be on here too long, though. I just wanted to tap in and check in with you. Straight no doubt, real nigga, real nigga. Yes, sir. Uh, I 
fuck with Baltimore niggas. Them niggas get busy, boy. Uh, Ryan and Baltimore niggas. The real niggas, of course. The real niggas. <clears throat> Let's see. Baltimore. Man, I should have chose SDS, uh, but get out of here, bro. You just mad because you still got them zesty ass corn rods, bro. I knew your shit ain't gonna grow. I told you months ago, nigga, probably like a year ago, that that shit wasn't happening for you, bro. You still got these little ass corn rods, bro, and this zesty ass profile pic with this fucking black white beater, bro. Any nigga with a black white beater definitely gay, bro. Like, bro, this nigga got fucking neck braids and a black white beater. Definitely gay, bro. Like, you do weird weird shit, like invite your friends over and put a pill in the punch, nigga, like you weird ass nigga, like, 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 but you guys want a margarita, like, like, like you got, like, pills in the margarita ass nigga, you want a margarita, but where the hell the fuck offers a nigga margarita, but like, but you fucking broad, but a grown ass man, nigga, I'm a grown ass man, don't offer me no fucking margarita, nigga, like, but you guys want a margarita, oh, fuck no, nigga, I got no Henny, nigga. Fuck this nigga talking about Margaret. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Don't nigga L fingers and show my nigga, man. Hey, you know what, L fingers? Hey, bro, I was sleep on you, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was sleep on you, my nigga. I didn't even know that you were the one. I ain't even like correlate that you were the one that did the Where's Waldo beat. That, I never got a body. What do you say? I never had a body. That's all this nigga ever said. That shit was hard, bro. And I never paid attention that you did the beat, bro. I was listening to that shit like the other day and my shit beating. You know, I got stupid beating my shit. I was in my shit beating. And it's like, L, L. I'm like, oh shit. A nigga L fingers, you. Oh shit. I ain't even know, bro. I swear to God. <clears throat> My nigga Drizzy, what's up, my nigga, blood? What up, Drizzy? Bully, what up, blood? Morning, bro. I'm blood. I know, Queen Street. Damn, it's my whole blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, God, bro. <laughs> I did not know that, bro. I swear to God, I was just, I, I just random, and I've been listening to shit for years, but just randomly, I was playing it the other day, bro, and that shit came in beating, and I heard the tag, and it just clicked in my brain. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, bro, I'm tripping, nigga. Oh, God, I was tripping. Oh, your wife hard, my nigga. I don't know. I Reach it. The Wi Fi wasn't breaking. <clears throat> Bole, you saw my nigga, man. Let me open it. No, let me open it. Hell no. <laughs> hey, Cooley. Inside it, bro. Let me open it. <laughs> uh, and though, so my nigga. I see you getting buff over here, my nigga, on your morning program and shit, bro. Oh, God, I see you. <clears throat> Let's see. Fresh starter locks. Enjoy the journey, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be the long journey, bro. Yeah, I did see that. I wasn't even really paying attention, but I did peep that. He do got the fresh joints, like the fresh starter joint. Yeah. It's gonna be a long journey, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit. Niggas remember the beginning of my shit. Like the real Skull Game fans, nigga, they know, nigga. They remember the journey, nigga. This shit been years, nigga. <clears throat> Y'all see you getting it in, bro? Let's go, you on the chopper this summer? Nigga, I ride them hogs, nigga. I don't fuck with them choppers, I fuck with them hogs. Hell yeah, I'm on one. Oh, God. That's exactly what I'm on right now. I'm trying to build me one, though. I ain't buying one this time. I'm finna build one, nigga. Built, not bought. New profile pick you fuck with a skull. Let me see. 
hell no, nah, that shit still exists. You nigga, you taking pictures of yourself in the mirror. Bro. Like, hell no, nah, bro. Like, bro, the fact that you asked me if I fucked with it was zesty as hell still. Bro. Just that, that was off top. Zesty as shit. I got a new profile pic, Skull, you fuck with it. Fuck no, I don't fuck with it, nigga. And then for two, the pic zesty as shit, bro. Like, bro, you ain't taking pictures of yourself in the mirror. Shit looks stupid as hell. Like, bro, you ain't got no bitches to take no pictures of you. You stand there taking pictures of yourself. Just like them hoes on Instagram, bro. Post a pic of you with red hair. Like, post a pic of you with braids. Looking nice, like, bro, retreat. <laughs>